Today we are going to be talking about how to mentally prepare for labor, whether it is an unmedicated labor or with the epidural. Either way, there are things that I feel that one should do when going into labor. So let's get back into it. Okay, so really quick, just so, just so you know, so this is going to be my third delivery. Um, my first delivery was of my stillborn son. If you haven't heard that story, you could check it out in my um, mom strength uh, playlist. Um, so naturally, going into labor, there is a certain level of anxiety for me. As right now, I am just a couple of weeks away from giving birth. Um, and I did have my son bef after my stillbirth experience, my son who is now two years old. So I did, I went through my stillbirth delivery and then I went through the delivery of my son, which was an unmedicated natural birth. And now I'm going to be giving birth to baby girl here in a couple of weeks. So as I mentioned, like going into, in, into the whole process, there's, I feel some, some level of anxiety or some that tries to creep in because of my past um, and I want to share with you some things that helped me with the son, birth of my son Aramis and also what I'm doing now to mentally prepare for the birth of my daughter. So the first thing I definitely recommend on doing and what um, I'm doing right now is really just acknowledging what it is that I fear going into it because even though I've done this before there's still like this a certain level of you know, mixed emotions going into it, excitement and other kind of things creeping up other emotions, but um, acknowledging what it is that I fear. So obviously having gone through my stillbirth, um, you know, just reflections of maybe your past experiences or past traumas that are trying to creep up um, as you're going into this whole process, working through that, talking through that with the a good support team or someone that you can confide in and something else with acknowledging in, in the whole fear space is the pain right the pain that's associated with going into labor as for me i um i'm also doing the my my plan is to go into this labor um naturally and unmedicated like i did with my son so i know like oh there's a lot of pain associated with this <laughs> So really um, acknowledging like, okay, how can I use that thought of, of fear, right? And, and use it for my benefit. So I know that when my body is going through these painful contractions, it's my body letting me know that, you know, it's working and it's doing what it needs to do. So it's all about the way I could think about the things that um, cause me pain throughout labor. Obviously, you know, I should be able to tell when something is really wrong. So the pain can be thought of as something that my body is letting me know that it's working. It's telling me to push when I need to push and just giving me the right signs that it's it's doing what it needs to do. So um, really just the way I kind of think about it instead of being scared about it, kind of being appreciative of the fact that I know my body is just going to be working with me and letting me know, hey, we, we got this. You know, the pain can be an indicator of that. So um, obviously, if you feel super like, um, you know, that things are not normal, you should be talking to your doctor about it. But knowing that, that there's a certain level of, of pain that you are going to feel, and that's something that a lot of people are fearful of. Um, I know that at some level, even though I've done it, I'm like, oh my God, I need to go through that pain again. But it's what I'm choosing to do. And I'm just choosing to do it because I like the way that I could, you know, kind of just bond with my body that it's communicating with me. So number two is uh, along with, you know, just acknowledging the fear and all that is definitely um, surrounding yourself with a good support team. And one of the things that I really enjoyed having... Um, and that I'm planning on having again for this birth is a doula. So a doula is trained. They are to help you through the birthing process, right? Um, they're, they're, they educate you along the way. They're someone that you could confide in along with someone like your birth, I mean your partner, right? Um, but having a good support team that you could confide in, that you could talk, they could talk you through the process because sometimes when you're going through labor, you're, you know, like your mind could be racing. You're not being present with it because 
Um, you know, there's so many things. So they really help you just kind of hone in and focus and talk to you and kind of give you these uh, affirmations. Uh, for example, I remember um, my doula last when I had my son, um, she was on the phone with me because she couldn't be there in, in person. So my doula is my sister. And um, she was on, and I remember being, the camera was on the whole time. And I remember at one point I was just so exhausted. And um, I was starting to fall asleep during the contractions, which really surprised me that I was able to do that. But you get breaks between contractions. And I remember laying back um, on the bed and she's just like, and she talked me through, like, I know you're feeling exhausted, but you're going to feel better and you're, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go by faster if you get, if you, you know, move into, she told me what position to move into. And as soon as I got off my back and into the position she told me into, everything just started happening so much faster. So they're like, they're, again, like doulas, they're trained for this. They get to educate you and talk to you as you're going through the process of what you should be feeling. So I highly recommend just like a good supportive team, specifically a doula. Number three, um, definitely listening to past people's labor stories. And if you haven't listened to mine, I do have a labor story that I had with my son, Aramis. I'll post it in the description below. So I had a natural and unmed unmedicated um, birth with him and it was uh, an incredible experience um <laughs> make sure to check that out but definitely listening to just like a bunch of different people women's moms labor stories that are um you know they just give you different perspectives everyone has a different experience especially when the baby comes how that the bonding is how you know maybe you don't feel bond there's so many different things um and so you know that it's it's normal for you to have your own specific experience. It doesn't have to be just like everyone else because you'll notice that everyone has a different experience and what they feel and how it feels to them. So um, listening to labor stories, definitely recommend that as well. Number four, the fourth thing I do recommend is um, positive affirmations, meditations, um, birth vis visualization. So definitely working in that, again, like that mental space, creating that environment in your mind that's going to support the birth so for example uh, my doula she actually created affirmations that i was able to hang in the birthing center you know as you're first going through the uh, contractions i really didn't pay attention to them but i remember at one point i just like looked up and i saw them i was like oh yeah like really did help me like um i it was just like hanging like you know my body was made for this my body is stronger than what i think it is like birth is normal and natural just different affirmations that you could either hang in your birthing space affirmations or that you could listen to before the actual labor like as in a you know in a in a in a cd or a of youtube videos just listening to affirmations but i highly recommend also like writing them out and then as you write them out, you're saying them in your mind. So you could definitely, you know, affirm those things as you're writing them out. There's a lot of meditations online on YouTube that you can be listening to every night in preparation for labor. For the birth of my son, Aramis, what I had on during the actual labor itself was guitar music. Like I loved just the guitar music was playing the whole time in the background. Um, so just listening, it was just like meditative for me to listen to that. Um, but there's like actual meditations that talk you through certain processes and with affirmations along with them, but there's also like meditative music and also like listening to that music, you could just sit back and just kind of at night start envisioning your birth experience, right? Just start imagining what it's going to be like and, you know, um, just start getting excited about it all. And then the fifth thing I do recommend is having a birth plan. Um, mentally, it's gonna just take a load off of you when you know that you have a birth plan in place because what that does is it lets your team know, it lets your doctors know, your midwife knows, whoever you're going to know that what your preferences are for labor, for postpartum, for your newborn, if you have just all written out because just think about it as when you're going through labor, there's a lot going on. You're going to be exhausted. You're going to be tired. Your body just went through this whole process. So having it all written down, handed to your doctor, your midwife and the nurse, whoever it is, um, you know, that they, they know what you want already. Just, it, it really just helps like, 
you know, you not having to worry about it, making decisions that you've had already written out beforehand. So those are the t top five things I really do recommend to mentally prepare going into labor. Um, I'm definitely doing those things. I'm listening to my affirmations. I'm having my meditations. I had, um, I've worked through some fear that I feel that has been creeping up. I'm like, hmm, why am I having, you know, this, this fear creep up again, but I've worked through it. I've journaled through it. Journaling is also a great way to release that. So, um, really quick again, you know, it's number one, releasing and acknowledging that fear. Number two, having a good supportive team to help you walk and to talk through the process. Number three, listen to labor stories. Number four, meditations, positive affirmations, and envisioning your birth experience. And number five, having your birth plan. All these things are going to just really help you mentally prepare for your labor. I'm so excited for you. And just knowing that you are going to meet and bring a human into this world um, so soon. God bless you. I hope it is a very great experience and I will see you in the next video. Much love.